guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and today we're gonna to discuss the four core canine vaccines and where to give them. So the reason we give them at specific anatomical locations is so we can identify what vaccine may have caused a reaction. <laughs> So the four core vaccines are gonna be canine parvovirus, canine adenovirus type two, which cross protects against canine adenovirus type one, which causes that terrible canine hepatitis, and then canine distemper virus. This vaccine comes in a combo called DHPP, which your veterinarian will give to your dog starting when they're a puppy at six weeks, eight weeks, and every month after that through their puppy series, and then yearly. And the fourth core vaccine is the rabies vaccine. And this one is given every year or every three years, depending on which one you choose. The rabies vaccine is required by law, so this is something you have to give your pets. And a fifth one that's not a core vaccine, but you guys are gonna come across this, Fortitella vaccine. So this protects against that general kennel cough, and it's given to pets yearly. Three vaccines you're also gonna come across are Lepto, Lyme, and Influenza. Now let's review those injection sites. All right, so your vaccines are gonna be given distally on the limbs. So for the front limbs, we're gonna do it in the shoulder blade region, and on the hind limbs, we're gonna do it in the gluteal regions. We stay away from the lumbar area when giving vaccines, and for those of you who know why, put that in the comments below. So all of your vaccines are gonna be given subcutaneously, which means under the skin. And if you wanna brush up on how to do that, I made a video so you can review how to give a sub-Q injection. All right guys, let's give Elsa her vaccines. So she's actually due for everything. So we're gonna give her her vaccines today. And I like to give my patients a Benadryl injection as well as a steroid if I'm giving all the vaccines at once. So that's what else is gonna get today. You can pick one or the other, Benadryl or Dex, which is a steroid. I'm gonna do both just because I feel like that is gonna work the best for my pup. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna draw them up. Here's the Bordetella vaccine. And then for the Distemper Parvo, it's two vials. You're gonna have to mix this sterile solution into the powder for your DHPP. So I take the stickers off right away, just so you know what vaccine you're giving. So the third one is gonna be the rabies sticker on there. See how they look so similar? So these two are your core vaccines. That is the Bordetella that I talked about. And if your vet adds on other ones like Lepto, Lyme, Influenza, you're gonna have even more. But only these two are the core vaccines. So that's it, that's the combo. All right guys, I'm gonna change the needles on my syringes because when you puncture through that rubber, it dulls the needle. So I want a smooth prick for Elsa so it's as painless as possible. So I'm gonna change these needles here. And actually you can like be really crafty and just peel it back like that and put each one on there. Looks like a little packet here of all your vaccines. All right, so I'm gonna give Elsa the steroid injection first in the muscle to help prevent a reaction. You stay. Good girl. Good dog, not all dogs are that good. Okay, so what you've been waiting for, the anatomical sites for the core vaccines. We're gonna have the right front limb is gonna be the distemper and parvovirus vaccine. The right rear is the rabies vaccine. And then for your other ones, you're gonna have the left front limb is for Bordetella, and then the left hind limb is for the Lyme and the Lepto. So before we give Elsa her vaccines, I wanna thank this video's sponsor, which is Pet Meds. I'm gonna put the link in my description below so you guys can shop online for your pet's medications. All right, Elsa, are you ready for this? You're the best dog. You let me do everything to you. She's so good. So most dogs won't let you just give vaccines with them standing here. You're gonna have to grab a hand from another technician or someone willing to help to give vaccines to the dog and also stay safe, put muzzles on them if you think they're gonna bite you and just use common sense. Okay, Elsa, you ready? We're gonna do this. So I'm gonna give her a Bordetella vaccine right here, lower on the shoulder. Boom, okay, good girl, all done, that's it. And then we're gonna give her her rabies. All right, so 
We're gonna do the right rear. Stay, Elsa. Stay. It's okay. Good girl. All right. And then now I'm gonna give her her bordetella. So this one actually burns a little bit. So I'm gonna hold her kind of close to my body when I give this one. So I pinch up some skin and I give it like that. Good girl. It's a good girl, Elsa. You did so good. You did so good. That was a good girl. And I rub it, I rub it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You wanna hurt some sheep after this? Maybe we'll hurt some sheep to make you happy. That's a good girl. All right, guys, Elsa did a great job today demonstrating. Like always, subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up to help this video circulate. Share it with friends in the veterinary field. And comment below if you guys have any wild or crazy stories or any advice for anyone in the vet field. See you guys next time.